Hello all and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today in this particular video, I am going to discussing about a particular approach where we can uh, try to query a particular document or to extract some key information from it. So uh, I have already made a video over this, but since uh, this particular approach has already been discussed in my previous video, I am not going to detail the things out. If you want to watch the things in detail, you can just go into my previous video where I have recently published a video uh, regarding this particular approach and then you can also uh, go over it and you can understand the proper approach that I have talked about is the same uh, github repo that has been implemented in the uh, uh, hugging face so I am just trying to demonstrate it out uh, from the hugging face side uh, the same team uh, has developed it on the hugging face space uh, app so you can just go and walk through my particular video uh, the query uh, uh, from the document you can uh, it's the same thing uh, just as a wrapper around the hugging face so now uh, coming back to this particular video um, uh, I'm just going to check the particular information from my particular uh, uh, table uh, it's the same thing that I'm going to try out so let me upload some few of the table images and then we are going to try to query it some information from it and we will check uh, how this particular app and algorithm is working out so and we will we'll also uh, comment something about it uh, when we should use it and when, where, where we should not be using it so remember we are not going we are not focusing on any part of training of any model we are just uh, trying to extract the information or get to and trying to use the already trained model and trying to inference the information by using that model so this particular video is not about any training it's just about inferencing or using that already trained model so right now you can see i have uploaded a particular table image and now you can uh, try to query uh, the information from it so let's suppose i want to extract the invoice number so i have to type a query here uh, in the question box so what is the invoice number so let's suppose you want to extract this information and we'll click on submit button it might take few seconds to uh, get the output for us so you can see uh, we are able to get 6464615 so you can see it has been highlighted as green and you can see at the left hand side it's uh, invoice number and right now we selected the uh, model as layout lm version 1 now we'll specifically mention the model and uh, for the invoice trained model which is based on layout lm version 1 so we'll select that model and we'll get the output for it as well you can see it has also been pointed out uh, on the same uh, uh, location let's let's try out the donut and this donut model doesn't use any kind of tesseract it's just uh, like there's no ocr is being used inside this donut yeah it's it is just based on transformers model and you can just go and uh, learn about this donut model it's very very unique uh, other other than uh, other part of the models where other models are using OCR but this particular donut model is not using any kind of OCR and it's just based on the visual representations what it, try, it is trying to use you can just go and read about donut it's very awesome paper you can you will love about reading it so you can see uh, we're also trying to extract the information from the particular invoice uh, it's getting the right thing right now now let's query a different thing uh, let's suppose I am just trying to query or what is the amount so there are very uh, like there are many amount that are available so let's see which kind of amount it tries to fetch out so let's try to give uh, let's try to get what are the amounts it's trying to get and it might take few more seconds so you can see it is able to focus on the uh, lower part where the payable amount or grand total amount is mentioned so I think it's fo mainly focusing on payable amount uh, which is 89357 so this is a uh, donut model that we check now let's go for layout lm version 1 model now you can see that uh, the layout lm version 1 model was specifically trained for invoices as it is mentioned but now you can see it is focusing on some S, uh, S sgst part of the amount it is not focusing on the amount that we have uh, that we wanted uh, which donut was focusing now let's check layout lm version 1 which was which was not trained on invoices you can see it's, it's again focusing on the same uh, part of the particular uh, uh, amount now let's uh, give a specific query uh, what is the uh, bill to address right. 
so let's give it a query let's try to get the information so you can see it is trying to extract the information from ship to address which is also not fully completed it's just trying to extract the uh, some end part of the city uh, sorry end part of the address which is city name and now uh, let's try a different model you can see it's focusing on order id and let's add this donut so in this case i guess uh, these two layout lm version 1 and layout lm version 1 for invoices are failed uh, let's see uh, what is the output for uh, donut donut is not able to focus uh, on any part of it you can see uh, it's it's just trying to get some somewhere in in this particular page so which is also not an uh, actual address of a particular person or uh, if i have to write uh, what is the billing address if i have to say it then let's see what is the uh, answer we're gonna get from it so you can see like uh, these models are actually good but it it might not be able to perform a uh, certain type of questions uh, for you like so, some models will help you to extract the information some model, model may not be help you to extract the information so you might have to train your model and then again you have to uh, bring such kind of logic that what this doc query is trying to bring up so you have to make your own model train your own model on your own data set with your own certain expects and then you can use uh, the similar approach what this particular uh, doc query is doing you can query out the document and then you can uh, just start start understanding the document much uh, very well right so as you can see it's again failed and layout lm version word model it's focusing on order id now let's type uh, uh, something better uh, let's say uh, discount amount right as i can see there is something discount written or let's try uh, what is the total because i can see there is a total uh, specific amount is also written so let's let's see uh, what is uh, it is able to focus so let's try this query uh, layout lm version model is still focusing on that S, uh, sgst part let's see layout lm version 1 with, without an invoice train it's focusing on the same let's try the donut one okay so uh, as you can see uh, i think there's a problem with some uh, server issues regarding the hugging face uh, i think i have to refresh it out uh, it wasn't able to extract the output uh, due to the server error from the hugging face side so uh, now let's let's understand the process that what happened uh, like where we should use this and particular uh, uh, doc query and this approach i am not a very fan of the pre-trained models i am very very uh, specific to or training a particular custom model based on my data set so i generally try to look on the approach what the other people are trying to build up and i try to mix up those approach and try to train the model based on that those approaches and try to mix up those approaches and then train my own model and prepare uh, something informative uh, application out of it so that's my uh, and always a take on to from any of the approach that we're trying to see or which is available on the internet maybe you can use this on your data set it might work for your data set but it might not fully work for your data set like that suppose it might get you some information from your data set but it might not get you all the information from data sets so this is one of the approach that you can try to build up but that's not a this is also not a best best approach to uh, extract anything from your document so uh, let's suppose if you want to try it this particular uh, approach by using a coding part so hugging face uh, has also uh, incorporated their pipeline in form of doc QA. So uh, the same people who has uh, developed this doc query, this particular, if you if you can go to this particular doc query. So I have already discussed a lot of things about this particular GitHub. You can just go and walk, walk, uh, watch the videos in my video in my YouTube channel, and you can just understand the things what I have talked about. It's the same thing, and now it has been formed in the form of hugging face, right? So uh, you can you can just uh, follow this particular uh, uh, collab to collab notebook to understand and uh, how to build up a pipeline using the uh, hugging face and you can extract the queries from the particular uh, particular image or document so these are the installations that you have to perform before we head for particular uh, uh, using a pipeline using uh, transformers 
and this is a simple uh, installation that you have to do now once you have done with those installations now you have to uh, you have to take up your images um, so i have already have my images here uh, this time i am using different image uh, so if i have to visualize it it's, it's not able to open let me open a different image yeah so this is an image that i am that i will be trying to query it using python so let me just uh, copy the path and paste it here right so let me paste it here and we'll use this uh, image to query it using python and now uh, there are different model checkpoints that are available in this github repo uh, that you can use it to prepare different different models so as i showed you on the hugging face uh, space app where uh, we were discussing about three models right lmv1 uh, layout lmv1 and layout lmv1 for invoices and donut right so these are the uh, checkpoints that you need to uh, specify inside the pipeline so you have to use this if you want to switch between the models right so to initialize the pipeline inside the uh, transformers you have to Im uh, import pipeline from transformers and then inside and then inside this pipeline you have to just type uh, type what kind of pipeline you want so you want to doc document question answering pipeline right so you have to specify this and then you have to pass the model checkpoint so what as soon as you as soon as you uh, specify the model checkpoint so right now i am specifying layout lm uh, version 1 for invoices so it will take up this uh, uh, path model checkpoint and it will try to prepare a pipeline for me so what it will do is it will just start downloading the model so since i have already downloaded the model so it will not initiate anything uh, downloading so now once i have initialized the pipe with the pre-trained model uh, of layout, layout lm version 1 then uh, i have to just pass the image image path and then what is the query right so as as you can see i am able to get some answers from this particular uh, image uh, so i can also try some different uh, a question uh, so let's suppose what is the invoice uh, date so let's run this query and let's get the output uh, let's see uh, what is able to do it so you can see it is able to get the answer for us but i think it's not in right format so if we open this particular image uh, let's see where the uh, answer is so you can see invoice date is 11 slash 02 slash 2 2019 so since it is using layout lm version 1 so and layout lm version 1 uses ocr tesseract ocr at the back end so uh, this tesseract ocr is not performing well on the slash where it is reading slash as one okay so this is how you're going to perform the querying out the documents and from by using hugging face and uh, it's the same uh, doc query application that has been developed uh, by imperia uh, that i've shown already in the particular video so uh, this is the same implementation on the hugging face side uh, my takeaway from here would be that uh, you shouldn't be uh, fully concentrated on this kind of uh, uh, approaches, uh, this kind of models. You have to focus on this particular approach, how this is working. And then you can reconfigure uh, this kind of approaches and train your own model and then do the same thing on your own kind of models. That will help you much better and that will help you to extract the relative information that you want to extract from the document. That's my takeaway from this particular video. Uh, Hope you liked it and if you have any questions do do uh, mention in the comment section uh, i will try to query it out and if you like my uh, effort do subscribe my channel thank you